if we got really good, we could even land our, our chopper on top. Uh, whoa, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> Oh man, that scared me. I, th I thought we were being attacked. Like, you know, a, a fighter, spaceship fighter thingy was coming up behind us and zapping us with a red laser. Oh, that's hilarious. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are continuing uh, our trek here through the Higashi Tower. And so let's just jump right in without further ado and keep going. Uh, all right. So what I think I'm going to do here is let's grab some of our uh, wooden frames. And also I want to make a few more of these too. All right. And then we're going to put these here. So that way, if we have a reason to, we can get back over here. Um, or we could even retreat back over to here if uh if needed so yeah we'll put that there too and then we can just pull those up all right so we're going up to floor five i think we have two more floors to do to finish out this tower i believe all right is that door closable it is okay we could also then potentially Yeah, I think that goes up to the roof. Uh, we could also potentially, you know, barricade here, too, if we needed to. Let's get these back down here. All right. So this is the, what is it? The chemical storage floor. All right. It's just a corpse there. I remember this uh, this floor, but it, it just it looks a lot different than it used to. You know, it, it's familiar, but it's not. All right, let's close that door for a second. We'll see if there's anything in here. Uh, Ninety nine sell price. Yeah, I think we'll leave that. I think we'll leave that. I'd probably. Uh, take it if well no wait we got loot crates don't we yeah let's just grab it who knows i'm not planning on continuing this series after we're done with this building but i might change my mind so let's keep grabbing the loot as if we're going to continue playing uh but for those of you who don't know uh we are going to start up an undead legacy series uh as soon as we wrap up this vanilla series here all right i guess we can grab that That is a cooling mesh schematic, and we'll drink this, but we don't care about the other stuff. <clears throat> yeah, don't want that. Okay, so, just, um, there's usually Zeke's in these tanks here. Let's get rid of that. That might be a potential sniping target down there. Yes, it is. Can we shoot through these rails? I don't remember. I think we can. Let's find out. Oh. <laughs> we might want to load our bow first. Actually, speaking of loaded, let's just make sure everything else is loaded too, you know? Uh-huh. Incoming enemies. <clears throat> Prepare for conflict. Really? Just because I loaded the bow... Or, I mean, the shotgun. Well, I guess it did kind of make some noise, didn't it? Okay, you can tell there's sleepies in there. All right, what happens if we back up into this corner here? Can we bust that? Oh, okay. Look at that, we're getting a twofer. Okay, that went reasonably well. Do these have anything inside of them? No, I don't think they do. Well, they might, I don't know. Let's open up this purse. You know what, we'll take that stuff. Yes, indeed we will. In fact, how are we doing on food? We could probably eat that right now and 
We're doing okay on hydration, though. So we'll move into this area. I've been playing a lot of subsistence. And in subsistence, the C key is the crouch toggle key. In, uh, in Seven Days to Die, it's the hold key. And then when you release it, you know, it comes back. So that's why I keep doing the quick duck, duckety doo dip there. Not meaning to. Let's close that door for a minute. Check this restroom. Nothing. Any meds in here? Nope, that's not a lootable cabinet. Sure, we'll take some paper. Why not? Let's look through here. Kim storage. Okay. It's very stuttery in this building. Can get some cloth from that thing. Isn't there something inside of this? Huh, maybe not. Okay. Up we go. I hear... I hear footsteps. That's weird. Because usually, you know, you see the sleepers wake up on the compass before you hear that. I have a feeling like we're going to get ambushed down here. Let's get little friend ready. Master, we are not alone. Okay, not alone from where? Just the one guy? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we'll take one at a time. No problemo there, man. Oh, we just came this way, didn't we? Okay. Is this lootable? Nope. Stay crouched. Something's going to pop out at us. I just know it. Maybe from there. Keep that crossbow loaded. How do we have an awake zombie that's not... Oh, you know what? We're not actually... the quest. Okay, never mind. The quest isn't activated. It, it broke. Oh. What? Uh, the quest broke when I logged out of the game because I'm not doing this all in one sitting. So, technically, it's not even activated, but if you didn't see last week's episode, what we're doing is we're we're just going to finish clearing the building, and then when we get all the way to the end loot, then what we'll do is we'll run an admin command. Well, we'll go back down and activate the quest, and then we'll run an admin command to kill all the zombies, and I'm hoping that'll give me credit for it. If it doesn't, then, oh well, it's not the end of the world. Well, it is the end of the world, but that's not what I meant. Almost sounds like that Zeke, whatever it is, is up above us. All right, I'm not gonna be able to get a headshot. I could get a, a a nut shot on him, but I couldn't. I can't get a headshot from here. So let's see if we can get down low enough to make that happen without waking him up. Yes. Say goodnight, Gracie. My senses have picked up something. Okay. Up here. Um, dude. Come here, dummy. I know I can't shoot through those stairs. Alright. I can't get to his head because he keeps keeps moving. Alright, let's get our crossbow bolt. Bolts. Crossbow bolts. Is there anything back here? There's a bag back there. Oh, I th maybe we come to that later. Oh, look at that. There's a munitions crate. Nice. Yeah, we'll take all of that. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank my mama, my daddy, and my munitions crate. All right. Really, that's that's it for this room. This room used to be a lot more dangerous. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we're going to pay for it somewhere else. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to close that door behind us. Yeah, I'll bet you we're going to get a big Master, old... we are not alone. I bet you we're going to get a big old uh, rush coming through here. Let's um, let's pop this open here. Is there anyone inside? Nope, that one is empty. Okay. Hey, look at me and my bad self. I just remembered to reload my crossbow. Good for me. Good for me. They say you can't teach an old guy new tricks, but I just proved them, whoever they, they are, wrong. Yeah, that's good stuff. We'll take that. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, we're going to have a room up here. Yeah, this is the area. <coughs> well, in the... <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, In the old version of uh, this building, there was a... Like a little hideout that somebody had been living behind there. I wonder if they still have that in there. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we gotta go through. Do we wait? Do we go through there? All right. Before we do that, let's let's go this this way first. All right. There's a victim. And here's another victim. My senses have picked up something. Another zombo? Yep. Ah! Let's look for a toilet pistol. I don't know why. It's just the, it's just the principle of the thing, right? Finding a pistol on a toilet, even if it's a terrible, crappy pistol, there's just something about it, you know. It's uh, it's part of the culture of this game. That's what it is. It is indeed part of the culture of this game. Okay, so let's go up here. We might as well look in this duffel bag because it's there. Hey, let's take a drink. I remembered. A little late, but I remembered. I know you guys were watching to see if I'd actually remember to do it. Where is this guy at? Oh! Um. I wanted to kill him quietly so I could kill him quietly. Puppy! Headless puppy! Mineral water? No, just water, water. We'll drink it. Okay, and then yeah, let's get rid of that. So now we have a ladder leading up there. Okay, so you know what? I think what let's let's jump back down here for a minute. I think this is just to get to the, a secret area. Uh, and that that's all there is to it, really. Okay, so they removed that. There used to be like a little a little camp where, you know, like someone was living to escape the apocalypse in the old version of this building, but they took it out. I wonder why. I always thought that was kind of cool, you know. I don't know why. I just did. Okay, let's head on up here. DNA testing. Okay. DNA testing. Let's look around this corner. Nothing there. And it doesn't look like there's anything 
for us to do over this way. There's a trash, but I'm not worried about that. Okay. Let's go check out the DNA testing hallway. This also looks somewhat familiar. Hey, there's a victim. Ah, oh, I forgot. <laughs> You guys, you guys need to count how many times I forgot to reload my crossbow. And and let's let's just be reasonable about this, okay? It has to be I have to reload it right after I use it, unless I'm being attacked and I have to switch to a different weapon. But then I have to come back to it and reload it before I use it again, okay? So if I forget to do that, uh you guys count how many times that happens, okay? Why? I don't know. Just do it. Just for fun. All right, we eliminated two enemies there. Oh, <laughs> I thought that said search the doomed trash can. It's the doomed trash can. Enemy. Oh, Prepare for conflict. just you? Okay. We got a couple more now, too. Here, let's grab some of this. All right, how, uh, looks like we just have two. All right, so far, so good. So far, so good. There's our crossbow bolt. This is like a server room in here. So yeah, it's, it's just, it's really cool to go through these buildings, you know, the new versions of these buildings, because like I said, it's familiar. I mean, the general idea and layout and whatnot of the building is the same as it's always been, right? But but yet it's changed too, so I think that's really cool. All right, any Zeke's in here? No, nope, but there's an ammo pile. Nah, we don't want that. Okay, let's continue on. On to the test hall. I hear flies. That usually means corpses or trash piles. Man, I'll tell you what, there is almost nothing better in this game than a compound crossbow with steel crossbow bolts for stealth kills. It's just the cat's meow, man, I'm telling you. Ooh, I want that silver. Let's give up this plastic for the silver. We should... I've got a bad feeling about this. We should run down and... um. Uh, drop off some loot. That was sneaky. All right, let's just finish the rest of our food here. It gives us one more slot. This is going to be probably a bit of a gauntlet. Now, one of these floors used to collapse. And I want to say it's this one. Hmm. Why do I hear a fire? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay. We need to get our back to the wall here. Get rid of that. Is there a friendly fire on Roberta? Because it, it looked like I was firing right into her. All right, that was a bit intense. Sounds like we might still have two more that didn't path up to here. Okay. Uh, Roberta, you need to move. Watch out. I'm trying to hit this. Why can't I hit that? What? 
That's bizarre. Oh, um, I'll be right back. Amazon just delivered something. I'll be, I'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> okay, we are back. Um, let's grab our pick here. This out of the way. I think those guys. I think they're just right below us. They got hung up down there. Interesting. Hey, dummies. All right. It takes care of them. So, the question here is, is this floor going to collapse on us like it used to? I don't... Here, yeah, we could just do this. What? That was weird. There's a pig inside of there. Weird, man. Us walking on this railing is making that glass unstable. How funny. Okay. Let's look into here. Nah, we don't need any of that. What's in here? We'll take another drink. Uh, nah, we don't need that. And yeah, we don't need that. Oh, you are hostile pigs. Why, uh, why would I have thought otherwise? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anything behind here? No. Okay, Roberta, how about a top great off to here? Great to see you, Master. Yes, it's great to see you too, uh, Roberta. Roberta the Robotic Drone. Hey, yeah, that's right. We can put some stuff in her inventory, can't we? Um, let's take one of those. I don't care about that. Uh, we can put that in there. We can put that in there. No, uh, yeah, we can put that in there. I want to keep stuff that we're likely to continue having to loot. Put that in there and anything else in this. Okay. Great. Let's get these back down here so they're ready to go in case we need them and continue on. Yeah, there's Zeke's in there. This is the room with the with the tables, uh, the experiment experimental tables or whatever you want to call them. All right, you know what I'm feeling here, you guys? Is there a door? Here's what we're going to do. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, do I have more of these? I should have more of these. Oh, I didn't ignite the other one. Oh! Well, we got most of them. I think. Are you dead? I think he's dead. Well, by most, I mean two. <laughs> and that bomb never actually went off either. Okay, we'll pick it back up and use it again. Okay, don't care about that. Anything else in here? Does not appear to be. There's a purse. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Oh, goody. We get to parkour up the elevator shaft again. Uh, there's a duffel bag in here. 
Yeah, that was worth it. Okay, so let's hop on here. Go all the way up to the top and then over to this corner. Hug the wall. Hug the wall. Duck. Trials. <clears throat> okay. Make sure we're all loaded up here. So we got a couple bathrooms. Let's clear those first. Ooh, is there food in here? Oh man, no food? Really? Seriously? Uh, what the heck, man? No zombs in there. Z zombs. We're just checking. Most likely if there were Zeeks in there, they would have already jumped out at us, but... Remember, this is a clear quest, so we're doing it as if it was still... Uh, you know, still active. We're doing it legit. I don't see anything in there. There could be something right on the other side of this counter. Okay, we got like a little lounge room over here. Anybody right around the corner? I hear the shuffle of wings. And guess what? We get to go out on the ledge. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's a blue light reflection. I was going to say, what is that? Um, There are three Zeeks here. What is our sniper rifle skill? Um, that's going to be in perception. Dead eye sharpshooter. Oh, no, no, no. Penetrator. Yeah, this is the one that'll shoot through multiple targets. Oh, they have to be armor piercing rounds. Okay. All right, well, I think the safest way to deal with these guys is just to blow them up. Okay, buzzard? Where are you? I think he's above us because I see his shadow over there. Oh, there he is. Okay, come on down here. There you go. Come at me, bro. Dude. Where'd you go? And now, now I think he's stuck underneath this ledge. Okay, whatever. We'll just kind of work our way over this way and... Keep an eye out for him. Oh, there he is. He's having a hard time, isn't he? You are hot. Find clothing or take shelter. We are dressed for winter, after all, and we're in a desert, aren't we? Let's get rid of that trigger there. Okay. Oh, we got a customer. Is it just Ronnie McDonnie? Okay, he doesn't seem to be able to know that he can come out here. Oh, never mind, he can. And he knows. He knows. All right, let's 
go look in here. These are these are all mortician's drawers. Yuck. Gross, man. You know what? We actually would have to kill this buzzard, wouldn't we? To finish the quest, now that I think about it. Alright, come on, man. That's not... Okay. Okay, we got... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come at me, bro. There you go. Okay, let's get back inside. It is toasty out here. We are hungry. We have nothing to eat. Does this give us any food at all? Five. <laughs> That's not very much, is it? All right, let's eat one anyway. What the hell? Oh, boy. Okay. So, Ronnie McDonnie was in here. Master, we are not alone. That sounds like a cop. Either a cop or a Hawaii Five-O. It's a Hawaii Five-O. Okay. If it's just him, come at me, bro. There you go. And we can, we can like hit right through uh, our our drone and not do any damage, which is handy since she's always in the way. Will you die, please? Oh, I'm out of stamina. Had a momentarily, uh, momentary lapse in muscle memory on my fingers because of all the different games I've been playing. And I reached for the wrong key for the shotgun. Are we supposed to... Oh, this is the... that... Yeah, that little um, receptionist area that we saw when we first got up to this floor. There is a thing here with some of that. With some of this and some of that. Any coffee in here? Yeah, I'm not going to take the grounds. Okay, we'll go around this way. Doesn't seem likely there would be a safe behind these, but... We'll look anyway. Okay. Hmm. That's a Kim bench. Oh, here we go. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Okay, how many enemies are we talking about? We got a bag with some brass and shotgun shells. That's pretty good stuff for seven days today. Useful stuff. I think that's everybody. Let's go on in, baby. We're getting close. We are getting close. Did we look in this one? No, we didn't. Oh, sham. Yes, please. Thank you very much. We needed that. Uh, we'll take the testosterone and the acid. Let's get rid of this and this and this. Oh, we already looked in that. I'm not going to look in the cabinets. Yep, we'll take the meds. Bong. Roberta. It is a pleasure to serve. I'm glad you think so. Let's give you that. Okay. We got Poppin' Pills crate here. Nice. 
I'll take that. We don't need the other thing. Check this room. Oh, that, okay, that just takes us to the stairs. So just make sure there's nothing else around over here. Those tarps are kind of cool looking. I mean, in terms of just realism. What? A purple pipe pistol. Look at that. That's not really worth very much, though. We're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. Okay. Is there anything in here? Can there be stuff behind here, like wall safes? I don't know. I've never actually bothered to look. What is going on out here? Probably more... Um, vultures. Boo, more food. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, game. That's the Kim bench. Oh, is it like a little tent? That's cool. Oh, so this is where they they move the um, um, squatter. Yeah, squatter. I was trying to think of what the word was for someone who lives in a building they don't own, a squatter. That's cool. Okay. Oops. All right, you guys, this is it. This is the final floor. Uh, well, actually, no, this is the roof. This is where things are going to get fun. All right, so I heard a vulture. Oh, no, I guess we, never mind. I guess we do have another floor. Or Wait, do we? It's kind of, oh, there's the fat loots. It's kind of, I don't know. Maybe this is like a penthouse. Yeah, we are definitely on, on the roof. This is way different than it used to be. Oh, well, let me guess. I push the button, it opens the door for the fat loots, and we get rushed by 50 zombies. Feral zombies, mind you. This is really different out here than it used to be. All this was um, uh, open in, in the previous version of the building. Okay, well, let's look around. Is that lootable? Yeah, we don't care about that. So this is the elevator shaft. With an ammo pile inside. Which I can't see. There we go. The backpack was in the way. This, you know what? This would be a really cool place to be, to have a base. This living in the penthouse up here, fixing it up. This is, looks really cool. We might uh, have to keep that in mind for our next playthrough. Find a Higashi Tower, clear it, and live in the penthouse on top. That'd be fun. I am digging that idea. And uh, we're finding food, too, which is good. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything in this immediate area. Um, I'm not sure if I want to if I want to activate that yet. Let's look around first before we activate that. Just see what there is to see here. And there's, oh, yeah, and there's a place for gardens and everything, you guys. I like this idea. Okay, so that, there's a weapons bag there. How are we supposed to get to that? I think we have to either break the stairs out or put some frames down to get to it. There does seem to be a vent of some sort there, but I don't see it on this side. 
Huh. Okay. Well, um, uh, before we go up, let's go over around and look at these other terrace areas. Yeah, this would be super neat. There's already garden plots. and Well, I, we would probably have to pick these up and replace them with actual garden plots. Yeah, I know. We're hot. How are we doing on hydration? Uh, we're actually not bad on hydration. Uh, we kind of... My senses oh. have picked up something. Oh. Okay, time for this. Alright, well, um, we have officially now failed the, the quest, so there's no point in, <laughs> there's no point in, um, trying to, uh, uh, you know, f uh, do the, do the end thing with the admin command, uh, to finish the quest, because we now have a legit failed it. However, uh, is it? Can we get back up there's the thing and get our stuff? I have nothing on me for defense. There's zombies all over the place. Crap, crap, crap. Uh, Alright. Yeah, this is a little bit of a sticky wicket. Do I have, like, a motorcycle or something in my gyro? Oh, not good. Do this quick. Quick, quick, quick. All right. Run. Put that down. Get on it. Okay. Whew. Now, what we can do is draw these guys off. And then... You know, circle back around. Yeah, that, I just plain got overwhelmed. You know what I should have done in hindsight? Is I should have, I should have made a, a place where we could barricade up first before I started looking around. But I was so, uh, enamored of the penthouse up there as a base that I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> you know? All right. We need you to get out of here, too. Because I have no way to fight you. So come on over here. All zombies in the area, please follow me. Nice. Look at that move. I meant to do that. Yes, I did. And if you'll buy that. Yeah, I was just, uh, like, really, uh, thinking about, you know, how, how to use that place as a base and stuff, and I didn't plan for what inevitably was going to happen, <laughs> so we paid the ultimate price for it, but that's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, can we get in here? Um... Oh, you know what? I can't get up there. Okay, that's not good. We might need to... We might need to uh, make a stone axe, get some wood, and make some wood frames. Oh, okay. Is he going to chase us all the way over here? No, he's not. Okay, let's find a couple of stones. And some wood. Man, it's like 
It's like we're right back at the beginning of the game again, isn't it? No, that's not what I want. What do we need to make a stone axe? Axe. Stone axe. There we go. I need one more stone right here. No, that's trash. And some plant fibers, too. Grab a little more wood. Okay. Just need to find one more stone. Uh, what? No. No vultures allowed. Seriously, there's no stones around. Come on, game. I just need one. Here we go. Stupid buzzard. Here. Crap. Oh, ow. Yeah, let's just run far, far away. I need an opportunity to... I need a minute to, to breathe here so I can cut some wood and make some frames. That fell down that quickly? Okay, let's go back. I'd like to get back up into the building before nightfall, but that's not going to happen. No, 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 don't hit me. No hitting allowed. Didn't you learn that in kindergarten? Oh, come on, spider zombie! Alright, now we're gonna attract everybody because we have feral sense on at night. What I need, I just need a couple of moments to stop and get some frames going and get them on my toolbar. That's what I need. Okay, everybody follow me. And don't hit me while you're following me, please. It's rude. Come get the old guy. Tasty old guy. Here for you to eat. Best dinner you'll ever have. Okay, now let's draw them down this way. Stop here for a second. Make some frames. Get back on bike. Run from Balter. Now, let's go a different route. Tw <laughs> towards the, the skyscraper here. Oh, man. This is just... This is fun. We're having fun. Are you guys having fun? This is the most fun I've had since, well, the last time I went to the dentist, maybe? Oh, no, don't get stuck. <laughs> okay. Get inside. Get inside before they can nail us. Okay. All right, now, oh, uh, no, go away. I'm dead. <laughs> oh boy.
All right, well, let's try and get back to this bag so we can get the frame so we can get up uh, off the street. It'll be easy. There'll be no problem. Nothing to it. Okay, we got this. All right, where is our stuff? Over there. Okay, let's crouch. Stay super quiet. Be very, very quiet. I hope that dog's not still in the stairwell. You know what? He probably is, now that I think about it. That's going to be fun. That's the bag we need. see me <laughs> this is not working okay here get back out to the bike get back out to the bike out to the bike out to the bike out to the bike okay why did this have to be in the desert the vultures just add another layer of pain and misery to this whole process. Suffered a deep laceration and a bleed. All right, let's go down the road here. Um, actually, yeah, I don't want to die too far away from our bedroll. I have no way to fix it, so... Oh, we stopped bleeding. Okay. Well, excuse me, Arlene. Okay, we're going to just die right... Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. This is just painful. This is painful. All right, here's, here's, the, here's the deal. I've got a bunch of stuff to do today. <laughs> I got more videos to record. I got a live stream this afternoon. I can't keep doing this. We're going to give ourselves three more attempts to get up to our bag. If we don't do it in the third attempt, it's it's done. We're done. Okay, three more attempts. Uh, okay, so... How, how do I... Okay, here. Jump down here. Let's draw all of this group away. See, we could probably pull this off if it wasn't for the damn vultures. And I have no way to kill them. I guess we could try and, um... Make, like, a club or something, or a spear. Alright, yeah, let's, uh, uh... Or, or, no, you know what? We could try and make a stone sledgehammer. Okay, let's try that. We just gotta get far enough away to where everybody will leave us alone long enough to make it. Cause if I can, if I can deal with the vultures, we might have a fighting chance. No, not you either. Get out of here. Okay, here's a couple of stones. Let's grab these stones. I don't remember exactly what we need to make a sledge, but... We need... 10 of everything. Okay. Alright, so we need one more piece of wood. And then we just need stone itself which means well unless we can find 10 oh crap unless we can find 10 stones 
We might have to make a stone axe and harvest some. Uh, there are stones around. Now we're cold. Okay, first we were hot, now we're cold. Yikes. Okay, is that enough? We're one stone shy of a sledgehammer. Here we go. Okay, so let's craft this. And then, you know, if we're chased by a vulture, we can get off the bike and clobber it. And at least, you know, try and deal with those guys. As far as the zombos go, I mean, that's kind of just a matter of drawing them, the group, far enough away, you know, to get back in the building, right? Uh, so we want to go back this way. Woo, look at that. Got a little air there. All right, come here, you bastard. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let's get back to our stuff over here. I think that's the bag that is that is that the bag that has our frames in it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Sorry about it being dark. It is. Okay, good. Right now, what we're gonna do? Here, let's get rid of that. So we're gonna just nerd pull up to here. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't. I probably don't have any way to make a torch, do I? Okay, let's just go up the stairwell here. Grab those frames that we put down when we started this episode. Um, is this where we put our loot? Yeah. Is there anything in here we could use? There's a pistol, but... Not really. I guess we could use these. So we need to go up this way here. Um, let's do this. Okay. Hi, Roberta. Nice to see you here. Pick up frame shapes. Oh, did I make another? I guess I did make another bridge there, didn't I? Okay. That's fine. Don't, don't, don't worry about it being dark, guys, because it's just as dark for me as it is for you. I mean, it is almost pitch black on my screen right here. Oh, okay. So let's do a little stair step thingy here. And then, can we put something in? Yeah, let's put that in there so I don't fall off. It looks like there's a thing there. Uh, 
Okay, is this... I think we need to go up one more. Yeah, we need to go up one more floor. R for roof. Okay. Now, we made it back to the roof. The question is, what happens if we activate the switch? Nothing. Okay, good, good. Nothing happened. Get through. Whew, okay. We got our stuff back. What is still in here? Things that we definitely need. Okay, so we don't need that. We don't need that, we don't need that, or that, or that, or that, or this. Uh, we don't really need that anymore either, but let's put that there. This goes in four. This can go here, this can go here. This goes in six. This goes in two. That can go there. Little friend goes in five. Sledge goes in one. Okay. Let's uh, repair that too. And the fat loots. All right, let's see what we got. Nice, nice. We'll take that and that. We're not going to have room for all this stuff. That's We'll have to unlock that. Looks like in the weapons bag. Very nice. We'll take that in place of the paper. And I don't, we don't need the dynamite. Medical. Uh, we'll take that and that. Working stiffs. Uh, we're going to leave both of those. We'll take all of that. And then the big chest. Screen locked, it says. So we'll see what's in here. And yeah, I'm uh, I'm really digging the idea, guys, of, of clearing this building and making this uh, our home. Wow, look at that. Okay, a food bundle. That's what we need is a food bundle because we were starving. Okay. Non-essential stuff. Stuff that's just not that big a deal. Let's put in here. I love glue, don't get me wrong, but glue is easy to come by at this point in our our game life cycle. Okay, so I want these. And I want the, am uh, the beaker and the ammo and the food crate. And actually, we're going to have to temporarily put a few things in here in order to open this. Wow, 10 things of spaghetti. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's like that's like some of the best food in the game. Some of the best food in the game. Nice. Okay. I was not expecting to get 10 spaghetti. I was thinking we would get like a couple of cans of this and that, you know. That was good. All right, let's get this back and I want that, that this, this. Uh, I want those sewing kits too, so let's give up two pills for the sewing kits. Uh, we already have a full thing of pills. So, I, I think we can live without the rest of this. I mean, I... Oh, not... Yeah, we, we need that silver, don't we? We need that silver. Um... We got tons of brass. We're doing good on brass. So, the rest of this... I mean, I know I could fix these up and sell it, but... You know, since we're done with this series, it, it, uh, it's not a big deal. If we weren't done with the series, I'd come back up here and grab that stuff after I dropped it off. But we are. Okay. My friends, this is the final episode of Vanilla 7 Days to Die Alpha 20. Uh, we had a good run here. I, I really enjoyed uh, playing Vanilla Alpha 20. Is there a munitions crate up there? And, um... 
what the plan for seven, for seven days to die now is for my channel, for me, me and my channel, is to, oh, no, that's a pool table. Oh, man, I really like this place, you guys, is uh, that we are going to start a new series um, on Undead Legacy. And I looked to see, last time I played, oh, we've got sleepers up here. we got to be careful. Last time I played Undead Legacy, um, I was able to use nitrogen, and what I did was I generated a map that was uh, almost an entire city. It was like just a big metropolitan area. And it was really cool, and I wanted to kind of maybe do that again, but unfortunately, nitrogen... I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, why did I do that? Uh, nitrogen is not updated for... Uh, for Alpha 20. So, we can't really do that. So, we're going to have to just play on a, you know, a vanilla-generated map. All right, I, well, let me put it this way. It wasn't updated the last time I looked, which was... Uh, two weeks ago? Oh, shit. Get out of the way! We're no more dying allowed. No more deaths allowed. Crap. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to play UDL on a vanilla map. Um, here, pick this up. I can't, oh, I can't, I don't have room for it. Well, you know what? See you, motorcycle. <laughs> We're out of here. <laughs> oh, boy. So, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll play it on a vanilla map, and, um, we'll, we'll play it on Insane Nightmare. Like, you know, that's just par for the course for, for me, because that's how I like to play this game. And, uh, yeah, have some fun with Undead Legacy. Now, there's been... There's been, I don't know how many updates, but there's definitely been updates uh, to UDL uh, since I played it last. I've, it's been, I don't know what, a year and a half maybe or something like that since the last time I played it. So, um, yeah, you know what? If, if we got really good, we could even land our, our chopper on top. Uh, whoa, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> Oh, man, that scared me. I, th I thought we were being attacked by, you know, like dogfight or something. Oh my goodness. Like, you know, a, a fighter, spaceship fighter thingy was coming up behind us and zapping us with a red laser. Oh, that's hilarious. Anyway, I know I keep getting sidetracked. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so we'll play Undead Legacy. There's been, there's been quite a few updates to it since the last time I played it. So, you know, a lot of things will be new to me. And my plan for the, for the UDL series is where, you know, what I, what I think, what I'd like to do with it is just kind of have it be a slow a slow burn series meaning that we're going to play it probably for a long time we're going to take our time we're not going to try and rush you know through it as quickly as possible um and you know and get into the end game and and check out all the end game stuff uh, in that series uh, one of the things that I did in in the season 1 of Undead Legacy is I never really completely you know, got into the end game of the game. I, I, I kind of ended it prematurely for various reasons. And so this time around, you know, I'd like to, to make sure we, we really get the full meal deal uh, at the end of Undead Legacy. And um, so I can't tell you exactly how long it's going to go. And, you know, stuff like that is always contingent upon, you know, how much we're enjoying the series. When I say we, I mean both you and me, you know. If I'm really super enjoying the series, but the views are really low... You know, I got to take my channel into to account too, because you know this channel is it is a side business for me, and hopefully someday it'll turn into a uh, a, a full time you know business for me when I retire from my real job. And so I got to take that kind of stuff into account. So if it's getting really really low views, it's not really worth my time from a business perspective to keep it going. Um, likewise, if I'm just kind of me getting bored with it myself and i'm not getting my own enjoyment out of it you know that's has to be taken into account too because that'll be you know that'll be reflected in the in the quality of the videos and stuff like that so uh but as long as we are all collectively enjoying it we'll keep it going for a while and definitely try and get into you know the end my game of uh, undead legacy and you know because it's got a lot of cool stuff uh in the end game um, that's one of the neat things about the the mod. So, 
All right, you guys. Uh, looks like I picked up a vulture passenger here. That is funny, man. Uh, he's riding along with us. Look at that. I've seen everything now. Um, so, yeah, that is it. I'm going to let you guys go here. We will start up the Undead Legacy series soon. I can't tell you exactly when, but, um, you know, as soon as possible, as soon as it makes sense for me to do that, and we will enjoy that awesome, awesome mod in 7 Days to Die Alpha 20. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you enjoyed this series. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and never, ever allow vultures to ride on your gyrocopter. Get out of here, you stupid thing. You too? Go away. N nice. I'll never get tired of those heads popping off. And with that, I bid you farewell.